that was John Wimber with Isn't He? Here on your radio station, AM 930, The Light Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, it's time for us to go to prayer. So, Father, we thank you today. Whether our need is physical, spiritual, intellectual, financial, or family, Lord, it doesn't matter. You are the one who has the answer. In fact, according to Daniel 9.23 and Daniel 10.12, the answer is already on the way. So thank you for that today. Also as well, Lord, we thank you that you are our healer. In this moment, Lord, we're so grateful that no matter what we face today, Lord, you have already provided our healing according to 1 Peter 2.24. In fact, it was Isaiah who reminded us 700 years, even before Jesus came on the scene, that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The peace that we should have faced and the chastisement we should have had was given to us, and by his stripes were healed. So, Father, we thank you today for your healing touch, and we thank you, Lord, today as well for your provision. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. And that means that, Lord, every need is going to be supplied because there's some riches in glory that are waiting to be distributed. All we have to do is ask. So, as James says in James 4, 2, you have not because you ask not, Lord, we're asking right now in Jesus' name. We know that, Lord, it is that time of the year where there's all kinds of things happening that need to be met. And this is that moment of provision and that moment of asking. So we want to give you all the praise and glory. Lord, also today, we want to pray for our seniors and our shut-ins. We're grateful, Lord, for every single one of them. Now, if they can't get out for whatever reason today, Father, today, would you be, give them strength? Would you give them comfort, mercy, and pour your love into them? And not just them, but their caregivers as well. So many times, Lord, this is almost feels like a thankless job. But Lord, we want to thank each one of them right today in the name of Jesus. One final thing, Lord, today, we want to pray for the wonderful promise of Acts 16.31. This is not only are we going to be saved but our household as well. Again, we pray for divine intervention in the lives of our family and friends today. And Lord, we just want to make one more request, and that is this. Would you order our steps today? Wherever we find ourselves today, whatever situation we find ourselves today, Lord, would you order our steps? And we ask all these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.